Okay, so current situation, we were supposed to have ice and snow this morning, but the weatherman said it was moving around us. It is now 5.04 p.m. and it's sleeting and starting to stick. So I have to hurry home and I have a 50 minute drive ahead of me. So welcome to Texas, y'all. Hey guys, it's Vivian. Welcome back. And if you're new to this channel, thanks for joining in. So as you saw in the little intro that we were getting some weather here and I was panicking a little bit. Um, turns out that weather split and we didn't get anything. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, if you live in Texas, you will understand the fact that you never know what the weather's going to do here in Texas. If you don't live in Texas, let me explain. So, basically, our weather can change rapidly here in Texas. It can be sunny, and then all of a sudden you have a severe thunderstorm pop up with tornadoes and hail and damaging winds, and you're like, where did this come from? For instance, today, uh, I woke up this morning, it was sunny, um, it was 61 degrees, I wore a short sleeve shirt, and I come home from school today, and it's 41 degrees, and it's pouring down rain, and it's freezing cold. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's what our weather is like here in Texas. So, um, if you ever come to Texas, be sure and watch your weather forecast, because it's gets quite dicey sometimes and sometimes even the meteorologists are wrong so anyway so today i'm gonna come back with a new video for y'all and this is a video that you know i always find interesting um watching other people's channels so i thought i'd go ahead and do it with this channel and it is what is in my flute bag so i know this looks like this looks huge let me put shell back a little bit perfect okay Sorry, I'm still trying to get used to everything here. So, currently right now, I use the Alteria um, Denver, Colorado, USA flute um, gear bag. I really love this bag. It's super durable. And Alteria, they um, have several different layers of lining in here. So, it's weatherproof. It's um, water resistant, dirt resistant. Um so I, I just love this bag so much and um this is not a sponsored video but i just wanted to share with you this bag mine is just the classic black they have different colors but um with being in performance and stuff it just looks better i think to have just the classic black so that's what i went with was the classic black but they have like different like prints like you can get zebra print flowers whatever you want. so anyway just plain old simple black for What's cool about this bag too is it has two places where you could like do it on the side here, like a side bag. If you didn't want um, to do this way, which is the backpack. And that's what I do for mine. Okay, just throw it on my back and I go. So anyway, so let's get started with this other compartment. So it has this compartment here. Um, here I have like a little um, hand sanitizer. I've never really used it, honestly. I probably need to change it because it, it's the scent um, champagne sparkles. And I don't really want sparkles necessarily on my flute if I use this ever. Um, so I probably need to change that. So that just hangs out in here. I just like keychains. So yeah. And then it's got a little butterfly on it too so anyway that's that I need to change that okay so first thing in my bag is my dr beats metronome i absolutely love this metronome um i'll probably do a little bit later video of explaining this in more detail and why i chose dr beats in this particular metronome but for now i'll just show you that i have my metronome in there Okay, um, to go along with my metronome, we find them. Only downside to this metronome is the fact that it's not rechargeable, so I have to carry batteries with me. 
um, because it can go dead in a minute. So I carry a package of batteries, if I can find them, here they are, sorry. Um, they're the 9 volt batteries. I have friends, they give me these, like, um, for a gift, birthday gift, um, Christmas gift. I got these for Christmas, actually, from one of my good friends, because she, she knew that I go through these like crazy. So it's perfect, so I just throw these in there, and if my battery ever dies, I can just pop one back in, go back to business. Okay. Alright, also in my bag is this, um, B&G Outdoor Koozie, or Cozy, Koozie, Cozy, I don't know. Basically what it is, it is a, a cloth, if I'm playing outdoors, I can, um, insert my flute in here, and it'll keep any dust or debris off of it. I haven't used it in a while, um, because I don't really play outside that much, but if ever needed I can refer to that um this is perfect for marching band orchestra again I haven't used it in a while because I haven't been outside but um it does um it is waterproof and nylon so it's always handy to have if you're outside and it starts raining or something then you can prevent water from your flute okay um I have random junk your seats. Next thing I have, which is super heavy, but I love it, is my Hercules. I think it's her yes, my Hercules uh, flute stand. It looks like this, and it folds out like this. And then I have the telescopic peg, but the telescope broke, so I just glued the peg on there. But this simply screws in like this. And there's my flute stand. I use this quite frequently, actually. And it works great. And it's really heavy. So I don't have to worry about my flute tipping over or anything with this stand. Since I have a B-foot flute. Um, really great product. So I love my Hercules stand. And it's compact. Alright, what else we got? Oh, okay, we have this little... Little pink bag, all in colorful thing I think I have in here, besides maybe some cleaning um, rags and stuff, but this little pink bag, you open it, um, I have tape, and this is to, it's nasty, okay, anyway, to tape any music I need together, or like to tape it down if the wind's blowing or anything, again, it's just, if needed, um, I have a little miniature screwdriver set here, and this is actually for eyeglasses, but I find this to be really useful if, like, I have a spring that pops out, I can just take and pop it back in with that, or if I need to tighten a screw. On the size disclaimer, do not tighten the screws where your keys are, um, let the professionals do that only. Um, this I will just use on the ends if I see the screw backing out. This is mainly for my old flute when I use my student flute because the screws would back out a lot on my student flute, so I'd use this. Um, I don't think I've used this at all on my new flute, but, you know, just in case. Okay, I have, um, I have a portable tuner. This is a Korg, um, brand. Um, it's got a tuner plus a metronome. I don't really use this much. Um, I am going to start using it because our director in our chamber group is wanting us to start tune more. And I just usually pull out my phone. But um, I'm going to start using this because it will probably be easier because of this next accessory that I'm just going to show you. Which is um, this microphone. Basically what you do is you just plug it into here like this. You put this little clamp on your flute and it will show you the pitch and like how you're in tune or out of tune and just simple, easy. Um, again, I'm going to start using this more. So there's that. Um, this is a extra polishing rug I have. Um, this is my old one, but it's still got some life in it, so I still have it just as a backup if I lose my other one. 
Um, I have, this is really, really dumb, but this is very useful, actually. Make sure she works good. Okay. So, when I was in high school, we would have to march back behind the high school, per se, and there was no lights that, back there, and you couldn't really see where you were going, and it was kind of scary. So, I have this flashlight here, and, sorry guys, my video cut off again. So, um, I use this just in case of emergencies, like if the power went out, or, um, if I have to go somewhere, or if I'm looking at my back or something, I can just pull this out and got a flashlight. Okay. Um, next I have this little coin purse. It has music notes on it and a little music note, uh, keychain. And then here is just basically, I was wondering where these went. <laughs> Um, some headphones with the, um, special headphone jack for the iPhone and a spare phone charger because I never know, like, how long I'm going to be at performances or what exactly is going on. So, if my phone dies, I have some way to charge it and if I want to listen to music when I'm doing nothing, then I also have, um, something to do as well. In this little bottom compartment, I just have some earplugs. Um, these are not the ones I use. These are just spares, just in case I lose the ones that I do have. But these are for Piccolo um, to prevent you losing any more hearing than I've already had. So, there's those. Um... We're coming down to the last little bit in here. I have some alcohol swabs. This was mainly for my old flute again, um, cause the head joint would get stuck on the body. So I'd take and wipe down all the black gunk that would get built up on there. I haven't really used these again, preventative measure. Um, these are like for concert per se. I was to get something on my shirt. These are like shout remover wipes. So if I have like a stain on my shirt, I can just take and use one of these and wipe it off and get it off um, without having to change shirts. So, about that. Um, we have a hair tie because sometimes I get hot while playing, so I'll just pull my hair up and just random hair tie. It's very stretched out. And is this one? I looked over here on my end table and I have another one. So I'm going to put this one in there as well. So I have two. So I got hair ties. Um, this is sad. So uh, a lot of times I let people borrow pencils because I don't understand how you're a musician and you don't have pencils. Um, but I have pencils in here and I need to refill them because I only have two. Um, so let me see here. I got some more somewhere. Okay, here's another one. Okay, so I have pencils in there, and these are just spares. I have some in my case, but just in case, again, like if a student doesn't have one, which I don't know how in the world happens, but okay. Um, it's pencils. And um, why is this sliding down? Stop. Then I have a eraser, um, cause a lot of times these erasers, they go out really fast. And so I have a eraser, a big eraser. Um, what else is in here? I have some pencil lead to refill, um, the lead in my pencil if I run out. Again, this is just basic stuff, I know. Um, two more things in, um, my bag. This, this is kind of weird. This is a deodorant bar. Um, let's see, it looks like it looks like one of those EOS lip balms, but no, it's deodorant. Um, sometimes I just like to freshen up before concerts, so I have that um, just in case. So, deodorant. And then um, finally, this is kind of random, but I have this uh, chip clip in here, and mainly I use this like. If I'm in a really thick book, like a hymnal or something, and the pages won't stay open, I'll clip this to the side of the hymnal, 
and that way my pages will stay open without the whole book like just moving so anyway so that's what's in this little bag okay um let's see is there anything else down here yes there is okay so this is a piccolo stand um i don't use this too often and i'll explain why here in a minute um but just in case it's a little piccolo stand cute nothing fancy simple to the point um so there's my piccolo stand okay and this is why i don't use it very often so i have this black washcloth we call them washcloths or wash rags down here in texas um and this is for on our stands that we use at the university so you have the stand part that is the um like where you set your music and then you have a little slot underneath i'll see if i can find a photo and post it here um that has a little slot underneath where you can put your pencils and stuff what i usually do is i take this and i fold it up like this and tuck it in there in that little spot and then I lay my piccolo on here so it doesn't get scratched and it's like soft enough as well so and then I just when I'm done just put it in my bag so um there's that um I think that's it for the front pocket yep that's it for the front pocket all right so okay guys so I realize that I like to talk a lot and I have not even gone through the other part of my bag so i'm going to make this a two-part video so here is part one of that video so hope you enjoyed be sure and like comment and subscribe um to this channel and any friends you know that may be interested in this channel also tell them come check me out and we will see you for part two very soon bye y'all